What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 3 of my Total War Warhammer 2 modded Vlad von Karstein campaign. So as we saw last time, after defeating Tempelhof, we turned our sights once again to the dwarfs, this time taking on Karakadrin and taking it from under Ungrim Iron Fist, whereas he was going after Nashrak Slayer. It timed it pretty well uh, for us anyway, and not so well for him. And now he's sort of stuck outside. I think what he wanted to do was actually Suicide Siege Karakadrin, but maybe wasn't able to because our uh, our lords were standing outside and he couldn't get through it, or maybe not. I'm not entirely sure what happened here. It was uh, it was kind of bizarre that he went into March Stance even though he was in range of our stuff. But uh, hey, maybe he wants to ignore us at Karakadrin, head to Waldenhof. Either way, he's, uh, he's within striking distance now, and I don't imagine it'll end so well for him. Otherwise, I think we're doing reasonably well, although we are still very much in the negative in terms of our money. Uh, I've been thinking that maybe for a little while we might want to delete uh, or uh, disband rather uh, Katrina Von Drack and I just noticed her name is Von Drack so I guess uh, she might be a long lost cousin or sister of uh, Isabella. Isabella Von Karstein is of course Isabella Von Drack uh, originally. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I think the random name generator probably prioritizes some of these names. I know I've seen them before in Vampire Counts uh, uh, Lords and, uh, and Heroes but anyway, anyway, let us attack Mr. Ungrim over here. What stance were we in again? Uh, campaign movement disabled. Oh, campaign movement disabled. Well, no dice there then. Uh, yeah, we're going to attack him if everybody is going to come along. Wait, I can't quite tell. Are you actually in range or not? Uh, maybe or maybe not. You know what? Just, let's just get out of the settlement here. Oh. You can't leave the settlement because you're completely blocked. Oh, okay, so that explains it. So, since uh, Isabella can't leave, it's definitely the fact that he wanted to attack her Akadrin but got stopped by his... Huh, I didn't even know you could do that to the AI. Oh, or maybe she's not blocked. Maybe it's uh, him blocking it. Never mind. Ignore me. Let me just see here. Uh, or maybe not. Doesn't seem to be able to move out of this place. Huh. So wait, well, okay, let's just find out. <laughs> Vlad, try to attack this. Let's see what he does. He's gonna fight, but we are going to bring in the uh, the reinforcement, so that doesn't really change. And we're gonna fight this. Uh, it'll be a decisive victory with low casualties, but uh, this may be Ungrim's last fight, and he is a legendary lord, so we might as well fight it in cinematic style. So let's do it. Alrighty, here we go in this uh, in this frosty valley. Ungram Iron Fist will meet his doom at last, and uh, it is appropriate for the uh, for the Slayer King. So we're going to wait until our entire army arrives. That's why we didn't Vanguard deploy with Vlad as we might normally. Otherwise, it's just going to be a simple matter of taking the garrison forces and sending them in first, so that the Slayers kill them all, uh, giving us extra what's it called. Uh, extra casualties in order to raise dead hopefully although i don't know if it'll be enough uh, in addition plus we do have two vamps that can raise dead themselves so we can continue in uh, in that line all right let's speed this up while we form up our army and get moving towards the enemy everybody's gonna move in we're also gonna get our first use of the dire wolves who are back here waiting in this little uh, wooded area because uh, that's where they feel most at home they're good boys Alrighty, what else do we have here? I believe that's just about it. Gonna approach the enemy. Sometimes I really do wish that there was like an, uh, a fast forward that's even more fast forward. <laughs> Although you hold it down for a few seconds, suddenly your entire army is dead. Uh, that's always a possibility. What are Ungram's stats like right now? I'm curious. Uh, 70 damage with fire and undead do tend to have fire weakness, or at least the zombies do. Uh, I don't remember whether the, uh, whether the rest of our units do. Let's see, bats do not appear to. And Vargas do not. And neither do Blood Knights. Is it, just is it just zombies that do? I mean, they have flesh that can burn. Skeletons don't technically have flesh, and therefore... No, but they still have a weakness to fire, interestingly enough. I guess you can scorch bone, so, yeah. Fire weakness minus 10, so that's good for Rungrum. Maybe he will uh, dish out some damage. Let's see, he's got 124 armor, 70 attack. His melee defense is not high enough, unfortunately, so the vamps should be able to bring him down. All right, let's speed it back up as we approach here. Our uh, Vargeist are going to hit the enemy in the back, so they're going to position themselves, and so are our doggos, uh, wherever they are. Should be out here somewhere. There they go. Just waiting. 
And then as soon as the enemy army started moving like that, we uh, sent in our vamps, all gonna charge the giant slayers together. That's five vamps versus the giant slayers, and man, when you have vampires working together in concert, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Both in a, from a gameplay perspective and from a lore perspective, it's really hard to uh, uh, kill vampires when they're working together. That, that's their biggest problem, they don't work together very well. <laughs> Uh, alright, so there we go, the giant slayers are now distracted, we spawned a bunch of units of zombies and are now going to charge everybody direct at Ungrum, especially while we have all these vampire lords and heroes together. Oh, he's gonna get his runesmith in here to help him out himself. Ooh, knocking Vlad back there, but uh, not dishing out a crazy amount of damage, but still. Well, at least Vlad will heal up on that. And here we go, the rest of our army is here. And it'll be a war between the Slayers and the, well, primarily the Chaff and the Zombies here. The Slayers can do some nice, uh, well, slaying. I can certainly enjoy killing as many of those zombies as they please. And that's why I really love the zombie unit. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but the zombie is actually one of my favorite units in the entire game. I really, really love the concept. And I was, as I was saying in the first episode, I really feel like vampire armies should work exactly like Waz do. Uh, in the sense that... Uh, they should have a secondary sub army that's full of primarily nothing but zombies and maybe a few uh, and maybe a few skeletons just to make it feel correct like uh, factions that are hordes and i don't mean like from a gameplay perspective but from a lore perspective like the undead like you should absolutely have a zombie shambling horde with every single one of your undead armies and a late game when your armies are full of nothing but like super elites and no zombies it doesn't feel right because every single pitched battle would still have those non-elite zombies being used as uh, as chaff to uh, and go forward. And of course you can get another lord doing that, but uh, vampire lords do tend to cost quite a bit and do increase the uh, the upkeep quite a lot. And especially in the early game, you definitely want those zombies. I just feel like that would be a pretty neat mechanic and I feel like it would fit the faction well. Otherwise, it's just now a matter of watching the enemy uh, slayers die. Ooh, and there's a ring that has opened up here in the center. Oh, look at that jump. I don't think that's going to get the kill, but that was an awesome jump. Too bad. I was hoping that uh, Ungrim would die there. How are you doing, Ungrim? Uh, you are at 104 HP, so whoever hits you next will get the final kill. Here we go, come on. Oh, oh, it looks like our a new vampire wants to try to bring it home, and she appears to have killed a bunch of her own zombies, but missed Hungrim. <laughs> All right, nice try, nice try. You're, you're, you're newly born, so... Oh, and it looks like Isabella and... Uh, okay, wait, no, Isabella didn't get the hit, and... Yeah, damn. Oh, well, it, I might have been Vlad, it might have been Emmanuel, couldn't quite tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, laughing at the stupid rhyme. Alrighty, well, there we go. With that, Ungram falls, and now there's just a runesmith left that we will follow up. All the while, just killing enemy slayers, or rather being... Uh, watching our zombies get killed by slayers. Also, our Vargeist are now charging the back, so the slayers do definitely still have to be careful with the Vargeist, as slayers can uh, certainly dish out the damage. Just gotta distract them first, and then apply all that... Uh, uh, all that AoE damage to, while hitting him in the back with the help of the doggos a little bit, although the doggos did take some damage, dropping to about half HP. Now this one Slayer unit is pretty much crippled, and the Dwarf Warrior unit that was fighting with them is pretty much dead as well. There's another Slayer unit over here that has been surrounded by our doggos, and the doggos are doing a reasonably good job, although they will, of course, also start taking damage. They are still damage dealers, and against the unarmored Slayers, they should be able to at least bring them down a lot in terms of their HP. Well, if they're not getting get too much themselves. Yeah, the uh, Slayer's HP is dropping. We're gonna get the Direwolves back once they're about half themselves. Otherwise, there are still pockets of Slayer resistance pretty much everywhere. There's a uh, there's like several little sections of the battlefield. Uh, we're just gonna keep spawning zombies on top of them to distract them while our vampires and our blood knights with their deadly pokes uh, get all the kills. And plus our far guys. Ah, it's really nice watching a f a f field battles, finally. We haven't been getting a lot of these uh, with the sieges, although the sieges have been really fun, too, so yeah. It's just the vampires are really fun to watch, and yeah, the, another reason I really want uh, uh, lots of zombies following armies around, because they're also just really fun to... It's fun to send a shambling horde of uh, zombies to tar pit the enemy army, and then watch them all die, but your elite units uh, clean up afterwards. It feels more right. 
and that's and that's I suppose what uh, Ray's Dead is for. But nonetheless, a battlefield bereft of zombies is uh, not as fun. Alrighty, here we go. There's still a unit of 72 Slayers here, so these guys are uh, very much alive, and our lords and our blood knights are fighting them. But now that the uh, major uh, portion of these Slayers are attacking the blood knights, they're starting to take damage, having lost about another 25% HP. Uh, these ones over here are just about dead at 33, and these ones are at 23, so we're good there. We're also using our bats and our dire hounds, dire wolves, doggos, dire doggos, uh, <laughs> to chase down any enemy units and prevent them from coming back onto the field, which is uh, obviously a uh, reason why the dire wolves are generally super useful. Hey, you chase down those dwarf warriors. Good doggos. Feel, feel free to take any bones you like. Alrighty, and looks like the Slayers are, well, the ones that were 72 have now dropped to about half HP and have quickly uh, dropped by about uh, 15 to 20 models, so that's pretty good. We're also going to send in some bats just because we can, and they haven't been uh, achieving too much here. I didn't really want to use the bats against the Slayers, because like the Doggos, the Slayers can kill them really, really fast, and obviously they don't rout. So uh, with the death blow, every single one will uh, uh, dish out additional damage and uh, survive. Vlad's just controlling his army here. There you go. Come on, move forward. Oh, all right. The Vargites might have been uh, might have been blocking him, and I think with that, it's mostly the Giant Slayers that are left. Still 18 units on them, but of course we've been using Master Beguilement to prevent them from doing too much damage, and same with the uh, largest cohort of Slayers that remain. Otherwise, we got 19 here. We've got uh, one here. One versus how many zombies are here? 60. Ooh, who will win? Oh, this is... Uh, huh. I'm actually more curious about this than the main portion of the battle. Will will this one Slayer be able to kill 19 zombies? Somehow I doubt it. I mean, a lot of those weapons are hitting him, after all. For some reason, I find this more interesting than the battle with the uh, uh, than the battle with the giant Slayers. There we go. And oh, down he goes, and he lost his head. I also really feel like uh, undead should be able to raise corpses as soon as enemies die, but that should be just about it for this battle. Still 18 giant Slayers, but not for much longer. All right, there we go. Blood Knight's charging in. The poke of the zombies is not uh, is not up to par, even though they did manage to kill that one. I think we got an invocation of Neheg going in on either everybody or the Blood Knights. Uh, doesn't really matter, as these guys are just about out of the picture. Can't even see how many they have left. Oh, there's a couple over there as well. Uh, what do you got here? Nine. And just about there. I like how they form up in a little tiny circle being attacked from every side. This is what being overwhelmed by the undead feels like. Oh, and there we go. Uh, Vlad and Isabella come in. Same with the other vampires. And now these guys stand no chance. Down you go, and that should be the end of the battle. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, decisive victory. Obviously, they certainly got a lot of uh, a lot of kills on our zombies. I'm willing to bet, but you know those were chaff, and uh, the garrison forces will revive, so we don't give a damn about them. Land replay. Alrighty, easy enough. I was hoping to actually rack up enough casualties to uh, uh, be able to raise dead. That's why I sent all those units there, uh, in there, as I said. But unfortunately, uh, not enough units died. Although the Slayers did certainly get a decent amount of kills. Not nearly as many as I want to. I guess we needed more zombies. Uh, yeah, alrighty. So, let's see. Uh, what do we want here? Ooh... Leadership minus five for two turns, but 1,500, you know what, I think we need the money, we really, really do need the money, so yeah, let's return captives. Also, uh, we got a blood kiss out of killing Ungrim, and speaking about Ungrim, uh, I believe with regards to the other mods, i.e. Confederate uh, defeated legendary lords, and with regards to one button respect, the consensus is to uh, use those mods, and so I will probably install them uh, in a couple of episodes. They're obviously not necessary right now, in that uh, uh, we will not have the money to recruit Manfred for uh, quite a while yet, but uh, when we're ready, I'll get those guys, uh, I'll get those mods up and running, so... Uh, so long as nobody uh, notices any, like, issues with them. All right, let's see. Defeated Ogrim is actually a pretty darn good trait. Uh, I... Oh. 
Wait, so only only Vlad gets the trade because Isabella was a reinforcement. Yeah, well, uh, that I guess uh, recruit defeated legendary lords will also help with that because once Ungram dies, he'll get re-recruited by another dwarf faction, and then we can get that trade with Isabella. Presuming that we don't get it right now, I saw that there was another army in there, and we certainly could send Vlad there. Alternatively, no let's see. You're at war. Oh, you won't you peace out. Damn, I was I was thinking, way. what if we pieced Thank out you. with these guys? Hmm. And just ignore them, because I don't really want an Ashrax Glare. I didn't want to send a unit up there, but uh, I guess we'll have to. Alrighty, well then. Uh, this is how we're going to do this. Isabella, you and Vlad are going to... See, the thing is, we need to send somebody to Zuffbar. It's going to rebel. I take it it'll be a Skaven Rebellion, but the problem here is that it is a level 1 settlement, and therefore it can't really defend itself, probably even against the Skaven. Hmm. We could get, recruit a lord there immediately, but I feel like that's also not such a good idea. I did want to upgrade Schwarzhofen. Uh, I just want to double check that there isn't anywhere else that we really should be spending our money. Like the Corrupted Village here, for example, uh, which would give us money and the ability to get the blood tax. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the peasant blood tax here. I feel like that's much more critical. Uh, I'm almost tempted to remove the gallows here and replace it with a blood tax, but you know what? We're getting a blood tax here, so that'll help out. Uh, or do we, do we allow Zuffbar to fall, probably? Hmm, gonna free a little bit of cash from it. I mean, we can certainly recruit a lord. It really depends on the size of the army they attack with. The thing is, I fear that Vlad will not be able to take over Nashrak Slayer himself, because his army is pretty damaged. I do wonder, wait, let's, let's see what's here. Let me see here. Oh, okay, it's a stack. It's probably full of miners, and it is hurt. Uh, but uh, I don't think anybody else is going to attack. And we can also raise the place, and not and not hold on to it. Just let the uh, re let the red eye or somebody else have it. Oh, well, look, it's a silver pinnacle. Uh, wait, you guys, not aggression pack. I'd love to either defeat you or confederate you uh, later on. But if you're here and you're friendly, maybe you can keep some of the enemies around there off our backs, Lobby and Sisterhood. Uh, military access, I don't really want. I'd really rather have some cash from you. Uh, let's see, moderate for 800, low for 1300. Let me guess, high for 300? Let's try 800. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, let's try 500. <laughs> Uh, all right, five hundred. So be it. There we go. I I want demand and not offer, right? I think I did. I hope I did. Uh, I don't want to be giving away cash. We can always raise dead as we move in as well, but I also don't really want to spend the money on that. Hmm. Yeah, and I feel like Vlad at least will need. It. You know what? Okay, we'll try to do this uh, by moving Isabella in as well. I guess you're both going to go into March stance, and we'll have to book it back. Because I don't want them rebuilding their army and going after Karakadrin. Uh, speaking of Karakadrin, your public order is messed up, but that's okay. I don't really mind a rebellion to fight here in a few turns, kind of like this one, but I guess we'll send, uh, uh, we'll send Katrina there. Uh, in fact, yeah, Katrina, keep moving, regardless of the money loss. Keep moving so you can get there earlier. You still won't be able to get there in one turn, but I think you will be able to in two. Which, hey, why can't I click ya? Uh, yeah, I think that's two. It's kind of hard to tell. Maybe one. Hmm. If one, it would be perfect. Alrighty, well, unless they see, unless they spawn and then siege it immediately, that's also a possibility. Alrighty, well, we we'll, we can't get that. We'll spend. We'll uh, get it when we're ready with the blood tax. Let's go. Next turn, let's take out Nashrax land, destroy Karakadrin for good. Oh, and wow, they are basically bored. Where well, yeah, we'd be. Oh, what? They have another stack there? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, okay. I'm glad I brought uh, I brought Isabella instead of sending her down to uh, Zufbar. Otherwise, this would obviously be a problem. Alrighty, and it looks like an Orky stack, but it also looks to be in the way of uh, you. Oh, and it is an immediate siege. Ten turns, and then some turns until you run out of supplies. Let's see. Would they be? I mean, it's a Gobbo, and it's only eight units. If the rebellion doesn't grow any more, I think we're fine. Uh, negative growth, but we get a blood kiss from the uh, bloody banquet. Please come in and join me for dinner. I can see from the way you dress, you are a man of exquisite taste. <laughs> uh, stupid but funny. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Aha! Peasant blood tax all the way. Gotta get that peasant blood tax going. Hey, I mean, we did just have a bloody banquet. Now we gotta get the blood tax going. Uh, let's see, Waldenhof, we do need walls here, but unfortunately we cannot afford them right now. Alrighty, ooh, yeah, you're gonna rebel very soon. We can, however, I think attack you next turn. Damn. 
All right, well, they're probably going to keep recruiting, and they're going to keep healing up those miners. All right, we can untax you next turn. Maybe I'd really prefer to get the extra cash. Let's destroy you. Honestly, with Isabella, this fight should not be that difficult. You know what? Stay in our territory right here. I think we'll be able to... Actually, we might not. Yeah, we might have to move out to max distance. Which is a little bit unfortunate because we won't heal up and we'll have to suffer attrition. Uh, we can go into raiding camp stance at 50%, but it's only here. Huh. Will that be close enough? Let's see, how far can we move past this? Not reasonably far. You know what, let's try raiding. Let's try raiding. At least it'll reduce our upkeep for a little bit. With Vlad's army, anyway. And, of course, the stupid bug. So we're at... Oh, yeah, we're at 46%. Never mind. That was just me being dumb. Okay. I knew. Isabella, you do it then. Uh, wait, no, you cannot. Let's see, right? No, forty-seven percent. Yeah, okay, it was just, it was just short. Damn. Oh well, not a big deal. Hopefully, we can still go there without suffering the attrition. Uh, you can have evasion, and then Vlad didn't level up, so we'll just hit this next turn if it's a possibility. Uh, huh? Put you both into ambush. It's unlikely, but what if they decide? Oh, look, Karakadrin is now free to free for the taking, and then uh, and then we take that. Oh, how are you doing there, Wargrove of Woe? Defensive alliance, eh? <laughs> um, is that a good idea? I mean, they still like us, and they'll like us. Hmm, I'll think about it. I think the only reason Draka wants a defensive alliance right now is because her main army is dead. Once it's alive again. It's uh, it's going to be an issue, which will definitely help us if we do keep on friendly terms. Hmm. Alrighty, well, I guess we'll have to think about it next turn, so let's end the said turn, and let's attack Natrax Lair. I really doubt that the, uh, that the ambush is going to work, but hey, you never know. And let's see, dwarves are not moving. Yeah, they gave up on that. Military alliance between Bone Rattlers and Red Eye. We have non-aggression packs with all the orcs out here, so we're pretty reasonably good there. And, oh, they're moving an army in. And hello, oh, they are going to attack. Valiant defeat? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they have too much cav and archers to do anything here, so we should have a, uh, a good time here. Unfortunately, since the last battle was a cinematic, ba cinematic battle, as usual, we're going to have to make a cut here, so here comes the cut. Alrighty, there it is, and let's get to it. I don't think a cinematic battle is necessary, because I don't think we're going to lose this one at all. Uh, let's just set everybody up on the walls and make sure the towers get as many kills as possible. It's just the Lord that'll be hard to bring down, and we just gotta make sure, I guess, that tower. Uh, huh, why do we even have the picture of a vampire here when we don't have a Lord here? We just have a skeleton Lord. Uh, so yeah, you guys, gonna stay back, just gotta make sure that you don't die. Oh, they actually have rams. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, might maybe send out a zombie unit out there just to distract them there we go everybody else get ready to go up on the walls i guess they're all going to atta attack from this side although i can't see those cav units because i guess they have a uh, uh, stock uh let's see zombies oh, okay there are night goblins air boys and more air boys hmm i might have to spread out the zombies or you know what we'll do uh, we'll do this one zombie unit here, just in case that the uh, the cab appears on this side. And then these two zombie units will be, I guess, right here. We can always reorient them as we go. And then you two skelly boys. Uh, oh, no, we have room for you to move even further. You two skelly boys, right. Okay, even more room. Okay. I keep forgetting that these are, uh, these are units that have a lot of models, so. Fine. Let's try this again. You are gonna go like so, and then you guys are gonna go like so, and then whatever whatever this is, it'll be good enough. Yeah, there we go. Pretty, pr pretty perfect. As good as it's gonna get. Alrighty, like that, we'll keep the Felbats uh, back, although maybe we'll annoy the enemy arranged units, and here we go. Alrighty. Now the question is, do we attack their units or do we attack that Shaman? You, ooh, it's gonna use some uh, magic on our tower? <laughs> Not entirely sure what it was focused on there. Uh, try to hit that shaman if you can. In fact, yeah, it looks like it's a decent amount of damage to it. Uh, so hit the shaman. Kill it. Uh, I do want you to kill these night goblins. Oh, wait, are these... Yeah, okay, they're not fanatics, they're just regular night goblins, and I probably could have guessed that by the fact that it doesn't say fanatics, but uh, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, we also gotta make sure that we don't let the cavalry stream in. Do we sally our zombies out now? Hmm, maybe we wait a little bit longer, just hose them down with, uh... 
with our towers. Alright, keep going. Keep killing those air boys. Oh, these guys are actually uh, going to be able to do damage. Hmm, do we go for the ones on the rams? Yeah, I feel like we still go for the ones on there. Matt, you're not taking as much damage as I thought you would. Uh, let's uh, let's reorient. Let's retarget, rather. Keep attacking Keep attacking units you can actually damage instead of the... Uh, Instead of the Lord, the Lord will fall when all of the uh, when all the units are dead as well. So yeah, keep killing all the error boys. And the ones that are out here that can fire aren't actually firing either. Too bad that tower isn't in range. No need to use the fell bats yet. Although the ceram is getting uh, closer and closer. Keep attacking it, guys. Keep attacking it. Uh, get ready to send that zombie unit out. They'll all attack it most likely, but at least they'll be distracted for a while. Yeah, here we go. And I, once again, I don't want to move in the fell bats such that they uh, they get ripped apart. All right, zombies, get in the way of that ram. Oh, this ram has stopped. Wait, 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 wait. Undo that. Wait until the ram starts moving in, and then then do it. Oh, are these gonna go? Are these guys gonna go up the walls? Because if they do, they'll get wrecked by the uh, uh, they'll get wrecked by the fell bats. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Well, the AI uh, the AI is terrible at sieges. It always has been. So. And none of this is surprising whatsoever. Uh, error boys. It, you, it should have used its lord to push the ram forward instead of uh, instead of its archers, and it should have used its archers to provide cover instead. Silly AI. All right, that ram is out of the picture. They're probably oh yeah, these night goblins are still moving with the other one, and so are those error boys. So we'll get them afterwards. Alrighty, I would love to actually chase them with our bats uh, to kill them all, but yeah. Probably not a great idea. Alrighty, these guys are gonna come up here, are gonna start doing a little bit of damage to our zombies. Not that the zombies care that much. I'm actually glad that this place can defend itself, because now we don't actually have to get a, uh, a vampire back here super quick, or have to waste our resources on raising dead, as that would be unfortunate. Alrighty, you guys are not going to survive that. Let's now switch targets to you. And, well, I guess you to a small degree. Probably, you know what? There's probably still too many units alive there, and they will likely not... Uh, not get out, so whatever. Alright, Towers. Well done. How are you guys doing? You guys killing some Zombos up there? Yeah, you guys are killing some Zombos. Let's, uh, let's hit you with some, uh, hit you with some Fell Bats. Oh, you're killing Skeletons. How dare you? Not our precious Skeletons. They're much, uh, they're much rarer here in this situation. Oh, the enemy Lord decided it, uh, it would push the Ram forward. Well, I guess I, I jinxed myself a little bit there. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Now we need to switch to the cab then. Uh, that uh, that will break through very quickly. Uh, everybody go, and I think we'll get these zombies that are back here moving in. And you guys, you're going to need to protect this, especially the Lord. And this thing's going to be gone soon. We need all of the cab dead so that they can't charge in and actually damage us. All right, help fell bats. Uh, let's move you out. Don't actually... Ooh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Don't move out. Don't move out. Their air boys are just about to rout. Wait for that. Ooh, magic damage coming in. Our lord is under attack, and in come the enemy. Let's move you zombies and Try to block as many of the... Uh, of the spider riders as you possibly can to prevent them from coming in. Make them rout if you can. Come on, come on, come on. Make them rout. Don't let them come in here and fight. All right, fell bats, you're doing good. Yes. Uh, more zombies coming in as well. Felbats killed that archer unit, and this should be just about over. Especially if the uh, spider riders are out. And, yeah, and the enemy lord will route as well. Yeah, just keep fighting. And at least it's a gobbo lord as well, since if it wasn't a gobbo lord, it might be have been a, a little bit tougher. But like this, not really a problem. Alrighty, and that should be just about it. You guys, well, I guess you can keep attacking the spider riders as you can. And, oh, no, they didn't completely route. Okay, fine. Felbats, keep killing that unit of airboys. Just make sure that it doesn't come back. We'll wait until the Lord routes. Uh, we'll also charge these guys with the Felbats after we've gotten a few more units off the field, as the uh, additional morale shock is always a good thing. And how's that Lord's damage coming in? Well, okay, our own Lord is fine. And by Lord, I mean our unit here. Huh, use some kind of spell on the Gob. Ooh, sneaky stabbing. Nice. And Felbats, I was about to have you charge the Orc airboys, but you know what? No need. They're standing under a tower now. So, let them do that. And they're not even attacking either, that's a sad thing. What the hell are you guys attacking? There's- oh, it's another unit of air boys, I can't even see where they actually- ah, there we go, this one's now moving out. Uh, you! Go back here, and hit this unit of, uh, hit this unit of four spider riders in the back. 
More zombies coming in. You are shattered, so you're not coming back either. Beautiful. All right, fell bats here. Oh, you're getting hit by our own towers. Don't do that. Hit those spider riders, and there's the rat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Speed it up to max, and so much for that valiant defeat, I guess. Uh, bats, just get away from the towers so that they don't kill you. Towers, fire at whatever you can. I don't think you're going to bring down the lord, but you can at least deplete the army a little bit. And that Air Boys unit, I think, will not come back. It's now been reduced to atoms. I mean, it's now been reduced to, uh, well, now it has been reduced to atoms. Uh, or corpses, rather. Reduced to corpses. And yeah, okay, bad and battle, good. Uh, what a silly little rebellion. And yeah, I guess it also would have depended on what kind of units got in here. Like, if it spawned a bunch of uh, Savage Orc biggins and just ran for the walls and just climbed them and killed all our zombies, that would have been a different story. Uh, but this time, not so much. Cav, they couldn't go through until the uh, a ram made it in, and then a bunch of uh, a bunch of error boys that couldn't really do anything, and we're on the rams most of the time. Uh, let's see, we can take 568 money, and I'm inclined to say I'd still prefer to take the money. There we go. Now, you're going to be still alive, aren't you? It's fine. Alrighty, let's see. Zufbar, fire and smoke from the rebellion. Yeah, that does tend to happen. Oh, hello. Hello. Thorgrim. Oh, man. He's chasing... Uh, he's chasing the bloody spears around. I'm willing to bet the bloody spears are probably dead. We could use this opportunity to attack Thorgrim, but the thing is... Ah, wait. He's lost the Pillars of Grugni. Ooh. Grimgor is doing pretty good, it seems. He's taking Karaz of Karak. Why would you do this? This is kind of dumb, actually. Huh. This is really, really dumb. It almost makes me tempted to take Mount Gunbad for ourselves, although we would thus have to uh, uh, summon a lord there just to guard it. If Grimgor keeps doing well against the uh, against the dwarfs, we could just hold the gold mine at Mount Gunbad. You know what? That's an interesting idea. Maybe we can pull it off. Uh, let's see. Vlad, can you actually move in here? Ah, no, we can't reach it this turn. Damn it. They'll be able to heal up even more. Okay, well, this time we can turn to raiding, at least. Uh, move to... Let's make sure that it's 50%. Like, see, 53. 53 should be good. Don't you don't you screw with me. Uh, nope, it did it again. It said 53, and I went to 47. Damn it! Okay, fine. We're just suffering attrition now. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what we'll do? Move a little bit more. Went to ambush. Isabella. You're gonna go into raiding. Right... Okay, okay, 59. No, wait. 56. There you go. 56. Is it gonna do the same thing? Now, you can at least raid and not uh, suffer attrition. Vlad, your attrition doesn't really matter, because it's... A, it's really minimal, but B... Who cares about their pathetic little uh, minor force? Yeah, I feel like they'll attack if they can't spot Vlad, which will be a good thing for us. Also, do have to watch out for you in case you suddenly attack all this. At least our money is positive now, and that's always nice to see. Uh, do you want to... Oh, you can't go past this. I was going to send you into Zephbar. Too bad you can't jump over them like they can jump. By which I mean travel through the underground. Ooh, we can upgrade Castle uh, Templehof next, but... Okay, we do have another peasant blood tax coming in. Really need those... Blood taxes. Drakenhof's not ready yet. Alright, this is gonna be iffy because we barely have any cash. I might want to spend another blood kiss. Uh, let's see, what are we for Imperial Administration? Four turns. You know what? We can do it again. I'll hear words from that unliving. Hopefully they don't attack us while our, uh, rep, while our rep is reasonably positive. And how are you doing? You still want that defensive alliance, and you're getting stronger. Makes me think that maybe we should. I mean, what's the likelihood that she'll die? Ah, she doesn't want it anymore. All right, we'll wait until the uh, uh, her armies die, and then we'll uh, try to uh, try to ally. Alrighty, a damage building. Let's repair that for hopefully minimal amounts because we don't have the cash to uh, spend there. Let's end the turn. Let's see what Thorgrim does, and then let's hit Nashrax Lair, or otherwise, let's hope that the ambush pans out. Okay, he's gonna go for this. Let's see if he goes for Grand Peak or not. Uh, Bone Rattlers are now fighting Lamy and Sisterhood and Kislev. Uh, that's perfectly fine. War declared between Averland and Border Princes instead of us. Cool. And what are you guys doing? Uh, I feel like Thorgrim oh, my lord. These brutish nomads are as strong as they are stupid. But do not underestimate them. They are hardy warriors and will cannibalize any foe that dares to cross them. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardy warriors cannibalize foe. Great. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, do we untax you? I should have untaxed it last turn. It's too late now. It is too late now. And, oh, you're gonna get a bigger... Oh, you're gonna get a freaking rock lobber in here now. We can't do anything about that unless we raise dead and attack it, but we don't have the uh, resources for that. Looks like we'll have to wait for Zephbar and hope that it can defend itself again. Uh, you just got Carrion. Armor plus two all units in the army. Oh, that's a nice follower. Lovely. Lovely. All right, let's hit Nashrak Slayer now. Because I guess we're in range, and otherwise we wouldn't be able to. Uh, go for Nashrak Slayer. Vlad Siege it, then we'll move Isabella in. Pyrrhic victory. Casualties high. Oh, wow. R really? It's just miners. I mean, there are a lot of... Oh, there are a lot of miners. Uh, we can kill them with magic. Let's send the vampires in. And it should be pretty simple. Let's just make sure that Isabella can actually approach, and I think she can. Alrighty, well, let's also level up the, uh, let's also level up the, uh, supporting vamps. Ooh, an unraid you. Uh, do you want to maybe go into... Channeling stance? Does the, do stances work when you're reinforcing? Hmm. Alright, but anyway, you're gonna go to hunger. Yeah, keep yourself alive. I, I was thinking about getting the health steed, but then we can't uh, we can't really afford it right now. So let's just uh, let's just hold off on that one. And you don't have replenished troops, which is why you have more stuff. But you know what? We're gonna be using pit of shades a lot, especially if we keep you around uh, as a construction cost reducer. So maybe we'll do that. How's our tech going, by the way? All right, we've almost got servant life or death, uh, but more importantly, we'll get blood as power right after that. And same with baleful rituals and all that. So uh, this is going reasonably well. This is completely different to what I usually do with the vamps, which is usually usually head down to here because I really like the position in Akendorf and uh, the slightly less surrounded areas here and I often do sack these places but uh, yeah I've never seen Sterling do this well but uh, it's it's mostly because of Imperial administration that we have this oh our stability is almost gone as well hmm uh, too bad we can't move you in get you restless dead and Ray is dead first of all yeah you know what? Curse of Undeath. Prob probably going to get more value out of it, especially if you are uh, used as a defensive uh, uh, force now. Let's attack Nashrax Lair. Still Pyrrhic victory, and oh, just zombie losses. Do we want to watch this? We need to. You know what? Let's just do it a regular battle instead of cinematic one. I feel like it'll just be watching our vamps just sit there and uh, slowly kill all the blobs of miners. But hey, why not? Why not? We absolutely could have auto-resolved it, because they are just miners, after all. Alright, let's set this up. Oh, you're coming in as a reinforcement. Uh, now, is this going to be a blob of miners? Let's find out. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Run right into a bunch of zombies and Vlad and Vargeist. Uh, we'll send them right off the map, especially since this is a settlement battle. Although... And this is a reinforcing army, so that will mean the army will survive or whatever. It's fine. Uh, like so, you guys wait in the back here. Start deployment, start deployment, go. Who do we have coming in here? Is it just the one rune lord? I think it's just the one rune lord, unfortunately. Hopefully he doesn't have a rune of wrath and ruin. It would be, it would be unfortunate to blob up like this to immediately die. Uh, <laughs> Alright, everybody hit him. Uh, we don't even really need the zombies here, to be perfectly honest. Wait, we're attacking, so they'll wait for us to come. Yeah, all right. All righty, let's do that. And let's just speed it up a little while. Since they're going to wait. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to move the zombies and stuff away, because they're just going to be suffering splash damage for no good reason. Uh, let's put you guys like this. Put you guys like this. Let's just have the Vargeists and the Blood Knights and the... Uh, and the lords killed that rune lord. Oh, is oh, he already dead? He's either dead or he ran off the field. It didn't say enemy lord was wounded or dead, so I take it that he just ran away. What the hell is this? Is that a single unit of quarrelers by itself? Get them. Go, doggos. Uh, you, run around. Hit him in the back. Uh, I should probably send Vargeist here as well, just in case. I don't know whether the doggos can actually survive this, but I guess we're about to, uh, we're about to see. It'll be helpful if they run and they don't actually get any volleys in there. And everybody else, I do want you to actually move up, let's say, right here. Uh, you can walk. Uh, you guys are going to be group one. You move up. Blood Knights, move up. How are we doing? Oh, they've gotten a volley in there. And now you guys get them right in the back. Right there. Ooh, yeah, these guys are taking damage. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Cripple their morale. Might not be good enough. If you start die, if you start losing leadership, then I'll just uh, send you back. Might be tempted to uh, make you run away now. 
Make you run away and then charge them again. The Vargas might actually get here soon. All right, there we go. Back off there. Morale is crippled and charge them again. This will count again. I guess is charged in the in rear again. I think. Either way, they're broken. And Vargas, you're not really needed here. Oh, they're coming in with a, a lot of uh, minor support. <laughs> And I do mean minor. Alrighty, let's see. Move in here, move in here, and... You guys are too fast for them to catch. Poor dwarfs and their immobile armies. Although, I am curious to see. How much damage would the Vargas do to the miners? Like, if they got surrounded? Hmm, let's find out. I mean, it is just miners here. Their lords aren't here. Attack. We'll see about this. And there we go. If they start taking damage, we'll just run them away. Uh, let's also move the rest of the army up. I would still slowly walk in forward. Fine, let's just let's just speed it up. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. And you guys, you guys could go in and help the Vargeists, I suppose. Any units that rout. Yeah, the poor miners are not going to have a good time here. I'm even kind of tempted to get the vampires over here and just start casting magic on them while the, va while the Vargeists kill them all. Oh, Vargeist, you're such a good, uh, you're such a good unit. How much do they cost in terms of up? Yeah, can't check here. I feel like it's pretty expensive, but I'm. But now I'm like, I want the regiment of renown, uh, uh, Vargas, sooner rather than later. Ooh, they're gonna start taking damage from the enemy uh, ranged units, but hopefully they'll be doing damage to their own miners as well. We also have uh, invocation of the heck options, obviously. Now, what do we have here? A rune lord. Okay, you guys move over here. Our army's gonna take a while to get here, but at least our quicker units are not. Uh, Vargas, do you need an invocation of the heck, or are you still good? I feel like they're okay. I want to send these guys in while uh, the Vargas are doing work. I'm perfectly confident in their ability to deal with all this. All right, you guys charge the miners in the back, though. And I just uh, changed my mind there, clearly, a little bit. Oh, are they moving towards our main army? Okay, you guys go right, let's say, here. You're going to be very slow, anyway. Uh, Vargas, just keep killing us. You guys keep chasing any units that you can catch. Blood Knights. Get him in the back now. Uh, all right, here we go. Well done, Blood Knights. Well done, Vargas. And vampires, go hit that deck warlord unit. <laughs> I did say we could auto resolve this, but hey, why not, right? It's just another. Uh, it's just another indictment of any units that are not Vargas. Hey, right, you you chase this, and you chase this. Blood Knights here. You guys in here. Lords, you've caught the quarrelers, so you can kill them all yourselves. Uh, this army's gonna get hit. We haven't even summoned any dead yet. Do we need to heal the Vargas? Nah, they're fine. They're gonna heal up anyway. You guys are doing beautiful work. And how are we doing out here? Oh, bats. Bats. Go kill those. In fact, two of you kill that. Uh, everybody turn off guard mode. Uh, two of you kill, let's say, uh, these guys. Uh, you guys have not routed yet. Have you charged the uh, quarrelers in a bit? Wait, what are they doing? They're just like moving around our main army, I think. They don't want to charge. They, I think the AI wants to be, uh, to maintain defensive formation. Well, not a great idea for it. Uh, okay, are you guys shattered yet? No, you're still broken, really? You're not shattered? You still want to come back? Okay, fine. Fine, dwarves. She'll probably make these guys group too. Oh, lords, keep chasing us. All right, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave all the chasing and stuff to the bats and the doggos while our elite units uh, take care of thousands upon thousands of miners. <laughs> uh, all righty, and you guys, reposition again, I guess. Maybe we should go in and kill that lord. Vargas, capture this, or engage them so that they uh, don't run. There we go, there we go. I can't believe this entire army is basically nothing but miners. Oh, hello, a lord! Go chase that. Uh, you wanna you wanna get a cast of spirit? Nah, it's probably useless. And I don't mean useless, useless. I mean like uh, we're better off raising dead and doing other things. There we go. And hey, our our main army is actually getting kind of closer. Cute, cute. Alrighty, everybody, chase down that lord. Hit him. And let's start summoning dead. Right there. And right on top of us as well. Just to distract the uh, miners a little bit. They do Sunder Armor after all. Not that they, uh, not that we're too worried about it. And in fact, you guys can turn off guard mode as well. Uh, Blood Knights, keep away. Don't don't get don't get caught. Zombies distract. Vargas. Get everything here. Like so, beautiful. And Blood Knights run through this, and then once they are engaged, go uh, they go in and attack them. How are the doggos and stuff doing? Uh, you guys move around to this side of the map. You guys move around to, I guess, this side of the map. Lovely. All right, Lords, how you doing? You, you killed that Lord yet? How is he? Almost dead. Yeah, don't let him run away. 
All right, these Vargas are obviously doing pretty well. Oh, our summon Dundead are almost gone. Let's summon another unit right on top of them. What a lovely ability. And you army can just sort of stay here. Or do you want to engage? You know what? Uh, maybe engage. Group, let's say, four. And go for it. But Knights, you can help out. You guys get ready to, to, to attack those Quarlers. Or actually, maybe we'll send the Vargas to kill the Quarlers and uh, have everybody else do uh, everything else. Uh, Alrighty, do we need to summon more undead? You know what, let's summon one more unit right here just to annoy the enemy. And then let us uh, use an Arcane Conduit, keep ourselves topped up. Uh, let's in fact put both Arcane Conduits on cooldown right there. Beautiful. Uh, Blood Knights, you're okay. Vargeist, you've gotten more units to rev. Uh, let's get... Nah, you're fine. Oh, and you're back here? Yeah, okay. Okay, how are you doing, lords? Not even really casting any magic other than Ray is dead here. We want to use a purple... No, 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 I wanted to use a... Head of Shades just to speed up this matter a little bit. Uh, do we need to? Oh, you know what, let's wait for the rest of these miners to get here. Oh, were you guys chasing that lord down my- Oh, he didn't die, my bad. I shouldn't have ordered you to stop. I thought that he was dead. But I was mistaken. I've been bamboozled yet again. Why must I always be bamboozled? Uh, how are we doing over here? Oh, look at this little, uh, this little holdout army. Kinda nice here. Uh, we should probably send the Vargas to help them out, though. All right, fine. You guys, all the bats and all the doggos, uh, go after this nonsense. And, well, minus the doggos. Doggos keep killing the uh, lord. Gonna be hard to get through that armor. Oh, damn it! I ordered the bats instead of the doggos to do this. All right. Happy with that. Now, Vargas, so lift off and go help the Blood Knights. Not that they're taking any damage, but, you know, the lords here can handle everything on their own. And then we can just get a, you know what? Yeah, let's just speed this up. Let's get a Pit of Shades going right there. These are all raised dead anyway, so it's not like they're gonna be uh, gonna be too damaged. Uh, you guys, go in and attack everything out there. Oh, actually, kill their lord first, and then deal at, dish out the damage. And, oh, some units are coming back. Should have chased them down. Ooh, the enemy lord is now dead. Go after those miners now. And lords keep killing everything that's out here. So I see miners are still very weak, even though they can, uh, I mean, I guess they're very cheap. And I guess this is the only unit that the enemy can build here. Vargas, kill lord. Uh, you want to cast a, uh... Yeah, there, you go. there you go. Spirit Leech. And you, why did you land here? Go after the lord. And oh, oh, one of our doggos is getting badly mauled here. The irony is real with this one. Alright, we're strong with this one. Alrighty, one second. You guys need to follow that so it doesn't come back. You guys need to follow that so it doesn't come back. Ah, units that come back. It's annoying. Alright, oh, One of our Vargas units has taken a bit of a beating. Alrighty, you guys, you guys need to charge us. I think we need to send in our lords. Alright, lords, go deal with this. Go deal with it. I wanted to send the Vargas. You know what? In fact, we'll deal with the... We'll use the lords to deal with the lords. You guys are going to go over here and you're going to deal with the... Uh, you need with this nonsense instead. Charge right in the middle of it. It's not like you're gonna get badly hurt by miners at this stage in the game. Lords, kill this. Uh, minus you. Although we could just get another cast of Pit of Shades and that'll probably kill you. Just leave a unit of uh, raised dead behind you. Do we have another Arcane Conduit ready? Yes, we do. Get that going. Lords, kill this. Oh, oh, now you want to run, huh? Ah, uh, you. Prevent that unit from coming back. Ah, uh, you guys can help him out. How are we doing out here? You guys prevent this unit from coming back. And Vargas are in now. It's gonna be hard to do anything with regards. Ooh, you know what we can do though. Location of the heck right in the center of this blob. There you go. Probably completely unnecessary, but whatever. Uh, I feel like the enemy army will rout in a few seconds anyway. This oh, lord will be dead end. soon. And then wait, what's the cast? What's the cost of a uh, bit of shades? I think it's like 19. That's a penumbral pendulum. 18. Okay, close enough. Alright, we get here. Okay, you zombies, keep moving. Oh, stop running away, you coward, get back here. Alright, fine, kill the dwarf warriors and then come back. No, he's coming back. I guess he wanted to charge us, not that he's, you know what, beguiling, uh, master beguilement. I don't, I don't, I didn't even think it would be necessary. And you are going to buff up the, uh, well, I guess the Vargas. There we go. Do we want to raise another unit of dead or do we want to, nah, these guys are basically dead anyway. Alright, that unit is done for. 
Uh, I'll, I'll prevent this unit from coming back now. It looks like it wants to come back. And man, this Rune Lord is tough for you guys to kill. I think maybe our units are getting in each other's way, though, as that is uh, most definitely a problem at times. Alrighty, how are you guys now? Uh, go charge these units. Prevent them from coming back. And now the main portion of the enemy army is about to run. I think as soon as their lord is dead, the army will be done for. I mean, go figure, right? But uh... Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. This will speed it up. Uh, the Pit of Shades is armor-piercing damage, after all. There we go, and it's not like the, uh, uh, not like these miners are very resistant to damage. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that crippled it. That crippled it, and I think, I'm 99% sure that this Lord is a, uh, is in part of the garrison, so he will die. I'm just gonna speed this up and let the vampires kill him, though. Are you run out running vampires? What the hell is this? How are you so fast? 37 versus 60. Okay, I think they're just getting in each other's way. They should really be able to catch him. That's kind of weird. Uh, Alright, Vargeists. You know, I, I'm, I'm too impatient. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead anyway. And yeah, we don't care about the zombies, obviously. Uh, there we go. Unsurprisingly, that went in our favor. Settlement should be done, and I think most of their armies, at least I hope that this... Uh, uh, well, no, wait, this was the army that was in the garrison, and there was the garrison force as well. And then there were two more forces. Oh, this one was a thousand... Oh, damn, that was a lot of miners that's going to survive. Or not. <laughs> Never mind, that's not a lot of miners that's going to survive at all. Oh, the dead don't rise again, but we got 4,000 money out of that. As well as a warrior bane, which is nice to have. Let us... Now, do we occupy this place, or do we sack it and raise it? Do we actually want the place? I don't really care about it. Now, the thing is... Hmm... Do we bother building it up? You know, just occupy it for now. I want the I want the regeneration. And then we'll see about what we do about, after, about this afterwards. Did I not press occupy? Uh, guys? happening here okay there we go uh, there we go and this will at least allow us to heal in this territory a little bit and uh, the other reason i wanted to do this was just in case we go after thorgrim uh oh be nice to get rid of his everguard as well uh right away with our vargas it's i feel like he can't attack grom peak maybe he'll try though but uh, if we take M mount gunbat and stuff that would work out quite well for us although unfortunately i think it's gonna have to work out as such next time because we're basically out of time here uh i don't think wait can isabella can you kill this can you kill these guys ah oh, you can't reach them unfortunate it was close but not quite no fine not the, not a big deal always used to that sort of thing yeah so if this place dies we can take it and have the entire province if it doesn't who gives a damn we do have to however move back here uh, asap so uh, we can't move Isabella quickly. Yeah, it's going to take us ooh, a bunch of turns to get here. Well, let's just hope that the Dwarven Rebellion here uh, does not retake it. And if it does, that we can just auto-resolve it uh, back into the ground. Anyway, with that, unfortunately, once again, I am going to have to call it. Uh, I think it was a pretty... Uh uh, a pretty lucrative episode in the sense that we got ourselves a peasant blood tax here and here and we're now able to build yet another one right here although wait we also get public order here hmm Although we, we are suffering a lot of growth issues right now, and Castle Drakenhoff really does need to go to level 2 for the gold mine, if nothing else. Uh, so maybe we uh, we leave off that. Uh, yeah, but we can now at least start upgrading a lot of our territories, although we really need to save up to get money from these. I guess we'll use another Blood Kiss to get more Imperial Administration, just keep them off our back for now. And let's see, you don't like Great Power, you don't like Treaties with Wargrove of Woe, and it's, uh, it's getting worse and worse. Hey, you're, we're improving with you. Approach and you could do a non-aggression pact with us, no interestingly enough. Uh, how does the Wargrove feel about you? Okay, they don't like you very much. Would they hate us for non-aggressioning with you? I would I would really prefer to non-aggression at least some Empire territories while killing the others, and then they'll eventually end these pacts themselves. We'll try... We'll try. We'll try and keep an eye on this. They'll probably like us a bit more if we uh, raid and kill these Skaven as well. But that's something we'll have to deal with next time. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about attacking the uh, uh, these territories next with Mount Gunbad and possibly Grand Peak. Although, once again, I do expect Thorgrim will either move away or fail. In which case, maybe we just abandon the territory. Hmm. 
it, it, it's, it really depends on what he does. If he manages to go here and he somehow manages to win, even though I really doubt it, I think he might have lost here against this army. I don't know who lost. But yeah. But then again, he could always come back and we might be able to catch him out of Zuffbar. Uh, kind of uh, this this kind of turned pretty interesting with what's going on in the mountains, and we'll see if uh, uh, if it continues being interesting next time. Otherwise, we'll just move back into uh, into here and start raiding and uh, sacking Skaven territories, and uh, uh, you know doing that for more and more cash as we do need it to keep building up and uh, get more growth in there. Everything's in growth, uh, foster terror already, and it's still not nearly enough. But hey, at least we're making cash. At least there's that. So anyway, uh, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. Don't forget to leave a like and comment for your friendly neighborhood heretic. All glory to the algorithm. Stay tuned for more Vladdy Daddy. And thanks for watching.